All right, what's up guys? This is uh, my Virginia State TSA competition uh, entry for animatronics for uh, 2011. Now, what I've done here is I've built an animatronic hand. The hand is up here and it runs through five cabling systems that run down to the servos. Now, each of the servos is pretty beefy. It's a very large turnigy servo. Each one puts out 33 kilograms centimeter of torque. It's pretty beefy. So those are going to be responsible for pulling the high friction cable lines because they do bend quite a lot. They go from here, they bend back, and they come back. They're pretty, pretty uh, tough to pull. Now, so, so that the servos are there. Now the next part you have is the glove uh, right here. The glove took quite some time to make. It operates over Bluetooth and it uses flex resistors on all of the um, on all of the fingers. So if you look at it, you can see it's just a black proto box from Radio Shack. On this side is a recharge port for the lithium polymer battery inside. And then you have five mono jack connectors that have been put into the box that allow you to connect to the sensors and disconnect the glove from the box. On the front, this is CNC cut. I CNC cut the hole switch out, the LED hole, and the missile switch cover hole. So in order to engage the hand, you flip up the missile switch and you push the button forward. Now the hand is engaged. There is a slight delay. It's more just software than it is anything else. But uh, I'm working on that. So I'm going to turn the glove off. So you flip that down and uh, then you're all set to go. You got to remember to turn off the power though or else the battery will be drained. Um, the joystick here is in control of the hydraulics of the set. Um, the hydraulics are right here on the left. <clears throat> and let me get a close up of that. This is the crown jewel of the entire project. These hydraulics took quite a long time to make. Now what they consist of is two linear motors, got an industrial surplus, brand new. These uh, have been mounted into a CNC cut MDF um, mounting system and they were then painted. This plate down here was not CNC cut, that was done by hand, but uh, this plate, this plate, and everything that goes on them is mounted, uh, was all CNC cut. Now, each of these parts um, holds the motor up on this end. They're then connected through a center red bar here to keep them perfectly in line, and then it goes to the block that holds the, uh, the actual um, the hydraulic cylinders, which are syringes. Now, inside this box, is two motor controllers, an FTDI to USB converter, an ATMEG328, and a MOSFET power control. The two motor controllers are for the, um, the motors right here. Uh, they also have potentiometer feedback so that the uh, Arduino can tell what position these motors are at and know when to shut them off to stop motion. So you get a pretty pretty accurate system, probably within within a tenth of an inch uh, on the hydraulic piston, it'll stop it. So this is over USB, and it connects to the computer right here. Now it's also in control of the valve. I forgot to mention that. Now <clears throat> the air valve runs up to the hand and gives you an air system through this pneumatic piston, which gives you a high five motion. So let's go ahead and test the whole project. I won't be wearing the glove because it's a little tedious to maneuver the camera, wear a glove, and use a joystick at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the joystick. So you grab the joystick, like so. You push the center button, and you move it. Now if you want to get a high five from the glove, it's pretty simple. You just walk up to it, hold the center button down, and pull the trigger. All right, high five. Since when is your computer high five? It's been quite some time. All right, so let's get a close up of the hydraulics working. Here we go. So again, you push the center button. Let's 
get a uh, close up of the LCD. So overall, it's uh, pretty cool. Now, the air supply runs at 100 PSI. Um, the connectors uh, come underneath of it, right here. This goes to an air compressor, but on the go, you actually use this regulator right here, which connects to a paintball CO2 tank, or it connects to a paintball air tank. So you get a little bit of options. On the software side, this is a custom software that I wrote. Um, it, it, it runs on multiple threads. I'm not sure why I did that, but um, joysticks on this side, hands pretty much on this side. This is live information coming from the hand, information about how to connect to this stuff. These buttons open the joystick. This button opens the glove. And um, that's pretty much it. It's uh, not much else to it. So the servos are controlled via a servo controller back here over serial which is actually a Pololu 8 uh, serial servo controller it works quite nicely and again that's connected directly to the computer so overall I think uh, this project was quite nice and I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching please uh, rate comment and subscribe